We are in Nefesh Ha'chaim Shar Alev Perik Yud Zayin in the middle, and there is a uh, parenthesis here, which is not parenthetical, parenthetical at all, at least in mine it's parenthesis. I think that's a very uh, important sentence which I want to uh, dwell on. So, um, what we learned uh, at the beginning of the week is that the way the the four Olamas work, work uh, you have four Olamas of Atsilos, Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya, and they're all lined up. And the the Vayipach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim comes through this, let's think of it as a pipe, which Kodesh Baruch Hu, wherever he is, um, is breathing life into this world. So it starts in the world of Atsilas, which has very little Gashmias to it, comes to the world of Bria, goes to the world of Yitzira, goes through the world of Asiya, comes into us, and we're the recipient of this um, fantastic Yipach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim. A person could be a recipient if you're lined up. Apparently is a possibility of life without being lined up. This is a life from a different source, living like a rabbit, or like a squirrel. But that's not the Yipach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim. The Yipach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim is when I'm hooked up to all these worlds. So uh, what it means in simple language is that the Hashem's Rufni is of the entire creation comes into me, the Bria, um, and it transforms into Gashmias within me. So I become the transformer. I become that which takes everything spiritual and brings it into this world. That's a, a important concept, right? Like the the idea is that I, I, you know, we have to look at ourselves differently. We have to look at ourselves as being able to take something which is very esoteric, very ethereal, very spiritual, and bringing it into a regular normal life. So that, that change happens within me. So I'm taking the, so the, the way it's working, the technology of it is it's going to Silos, Bria, Yitzira, Asiya, into me. So the Neshama, um, as he pointed out many times, is this is the wind of the Neshama. The Neshama is up on top here, which is uh, what I want to discuss. And, and the end of that, uh, the, the glass and the, and the, uh, in the Rabbi in the Rav Jachaim's uh, Marshal, the glass is me. So I'm I'm becoming the Ratzon Hashem. That's that's what we learn. And then he explains it. Hi, if you have it inside, that's good. There's lots of lots said here. Hi, What this all means is Shibakabolas Adam Ol Malchusa Yisparach. That when a person is Makabel Ol Malchus Shemayim. It's a term we're familiar with, but could be one of those terms that because we use it so often, we don't get it completely. Kabbalah's Adam, O Malchusai Yisbarach, that when a person is Makabal, the O Malchus of Hashem, Lahalois, what does that mean? Lahalois Komaisa Vidiburai O Machshavois of Atayra Mitzvah Lamadrega Yoiser Gavoya. What I'm doing is I'm upgrading and I'm elevating everything that I do. That's what Makabal O Malchus Shemaim says. We have a new touch. Makabal O Malchus Shemaim means, right, when you say Kriya Shema. So the din is you have to be Makabal O Malchus Shemaim. Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekinu Hashem Achad. We're Makabal O Malchus Shemaim. What are we doing? What does that mean? It means that we're saying that everything that I'm going to do today, I'm doing um, because I want to do Hashem's will. So meaning this this um, this transference of Ruchnius to Gashmis, which is taking place within me, is for one reason only, if I want to be part of this, uh, if I want to be in that number. Uh, it's, it's for one reason only, so that now I can be an agent of HaKadosh Baruch Hu with his breath and do what has to be done in this world. So it's a new definition, it's in the simplest chat, a new definition of Kabbalah's oil, Malchus Shamayim. It's something like, um, I'm not making a comparison, but something like a, uh, a beast of burden. So when it feels the oil, it feels the saddle, it feels the person. So now its its whole purpose now becomes to carry the rider to where it wants to go. Its per, its personal purpose is not important here. It becomes it's 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 the oil, the yoke, literally a yoke, um, which is carrying me in a certain way. It's called the yoke. 
on an animal. So the the, the Kabbalah, the all Malchus Shemayim. So to be very clear, my kavana in saying Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad is that the Gashmius, which is the Ruchnius, which is turning to Gashmius within me, is for the purpose of doing Hashem's Ratzin. All the terror that I'm doing, all the mitzvahs that I'm doing, I'm bringing the matrega yosher gavaya. I'm hooking up. So I mean, matrega yosher gavaya, mizeh nasa. And what will happen from that? Nasa le rotsim pnimi. Well, you'll create a rotsim pnimi l'shabid moichay v'dibura yamaisa b'tayru mitzvahs beside keser malchus. From there we come to rotsim. So. Um, let me just explain the push of Shab, what he's saying. It's not push it at all. First of all, the deal. Kabbalah's o Malchus Shemayim. Um, in the Seder HaSphiros, Malchus is at the bottom. Chesed, Gvura, Tiferes, Natsach, Hoi, Malchus. My job in this world is to hook up with an upper world, a higher world, a higher, where the energy is coming from, I'm only hooking up to the bottom of that, right? So you can imagine like four pipes hooked into each other. So I'm in the world of Asiya, and I'm hooking up to the world of Yitzira, Abiya, Atzilos Bria Yitzira. The world above me is the world of Yitzira. That's where Ruchnius is becoming Gashvius. You know, we don't have to know much more about it than that. And but where am I hooking? I'm hooking onto the Malchus, and Malchus is really the lowest Madrega of Yit- of Yitzira. And the lowest madrag that the spheres repeat themselves in every oilum, so I'm really hooking into the bottom malchus. So first of all, we have to be medayik. Kabbalas o malchus shemayim. You're not being makabel chesed. You're not being makabel gvurti faris. That's a choy. You're being makabel. That being makabel be the side side. You're being makabel malchus, and you're working your way up. Yes. So makabelas o malchus shemayim. And at the point where it's malchus, it's an oil. It, it's it's an oil. It, to take my, my uh, example of the bur- beast of burden, it's an oil. It's not necessarily what the animal wants to do, but it's malchus. See, um, it's it's important to understand like what what, what malchus means in, in simple in terms that we can we can grasp. You know you know um, the Gemara says that you should run to see a king. <coughs> Even a non-Jewish king. So you should run to see a king. They even were over Isuri Durabon and the Gemara says, Medalgin Hayinu Al Gabi it's a different Gemara. Likras Malche Akum. I think Rabbi said that. Who was he running to see? Uh, um, he was running to see the, the, the Roman Roshayim. <laughs> That's who was around in his time. Titus. But what happens when you see Titus? What you're seeing is Malchus. It doesn't make a difference that he's a Russia. You're seeing Malchus. You're seeing not only a thousand soldiers standing at attention, and they're really standing there like idiots. Like, why, why are they standing at attention for this person? They're standing at attention. They, they, they look like, you know, and you're seeing certain, certain malchus. Uh, you, you saw it, you know, I was watching when uh, President Trump came to Israel, and wherever he came, wherever he went. Not, nothing to do with the president, but it has to do with the office of the president, malchus. So you could see, um, whatever it was, 500 at the airport, 500 Israeli soldiers standing at attention, shooting into the air, you know, saluting. Um, this is Malchus. It, it, it's, it's a bitl rutzing. It could be all of those guys hate the guy. <laughs> it, it, it's, not, it's not your way. And it's not even that they're going to get in trouble if, if, they, if they don't do this. Like the politicians didn't want to go to the airport, right? But like they had rats. That's not Malchus. Malchus is to, to see it is to see Bittel Ratzin. That's what you're watching there. You're watching Bittel Ratzin. Uh, like uh, you know, you know, you you know, you look at the um, Chinese Co- or the Korean Wars. You know, like uh, Kamikaze's jumping out of planes. 
people um, going on the front lines by the thousands, knowing that the front lines are the ones that are going to get shot. That's how war was in World War II, Korean War. It wasn't like now, like uh, you know, Israelis. You don't think about getting, but or Hashem. But it, it was, it was. You know, you're on the front lines. You're there to protect the people behind you, who are there to protect the generals ten steps behind you. They're going to get shot. So what are they doing it for? Go home. What's the problem? They're going to go to jail. <laughs> it's better to getting shot. No, like what? Like why do why do they do it? Let's let's have some civil disobedience here. Let's have some you know, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, of, of seichel. What's the shot? So the shot is that what you're seeing there um, by thousands of people willing to die for a cause they don't even understand is, you know, for Tito Sarosha. They understand, they don't understand it. They like the guy, they don't like the guy. It's Malchus. There, there's a, there's a, a Bria of, of Malchus in this world where we act with Malchus and Chazal. Chazal say, go look at that. Go look at that. Shimtiske. You'll see the difference. I remember when um, when uh, Nasser, um, not, not Nasser, Sadat came to Israel. Um, so I, I remember Rabbi Bad Yosef was the chief rabbi, and he said that every Yeshiva Bachar should go to uh, Rehov Yafo and stand on the street and see President Sadat. Like, who wants to see President Sadat? Malchus. Make a bracha. Malchus. I went. Gamani Hayizi I went. It's it's um, inspiring for some reason that I don't know. But the inspiration is that you see a bechina of Malchus in this world. It's a bria. It's not something which necessarily works with. I mean, there's probably some kind of a psychological explanation for it. But it's not. It's not. Doesn't work. Help be safe necessarily. It's there's a certain Malchus that you see. But malchus perforce means that you're doing something which is not necessarily my rutzin. I'm doing his rutzin, but I'm not doing my rutzin. So malchus is the ability to do something without even wanting to do it. That's what malchus is. It's a very deep um, creation in this world, the creation of malchus. The way everything lines up in the world is malchus. And that's the way it's going to be, Gemara, the Gemara says, when Mashiach comes, the whole world is going to line up and stand at attention. For Mashiach, whether they like the idea or they don't, that's the Malchus. So when a person's makabel all Malchus Shamayim, he's makabel in oil. It's it's a burden, it's a yoke of Malchus, which is a bittel rutzain of yourself. You are basically annulling your rutzain and doing the rutzain Hashem. Is that a high madrig or a low madrig? A low madrig. Malchus is at the bottom of the of the of the line. What's a higher madrega? So you walk, work, you walk all the way up, all the way up to the, the spheres until you get to the top of the ten spheres, and then you're in keser. Back to my, back to, uh, Rutzai. Back to Sakharov, ke, ke, keser is synonymous with rutzai. Why? These are not just words. The king does what his rutzai is. He's not part of the malchus. The, the king has a rutzai. He's allowed to have a rutzai. So. Um, you, would, would you, if you start off in Avodos Hashem, you start off with Kriya Shema, you're starting off with Kabbalah's Ol Malchus Shemayim. By the time you finish Shemayim Esrei, you L'Ratzai Nim Refi. I'm working with Ratzai. So what, I, what I've done, pre presumably, and which is the right thing to do, is I've climbed up all of the spheros, which, uh, um, if you'll meditate on this, um, is, this is not Kabbalah. It's it's plush. you're climbing up and you're making, you're, you're getting you're getting yourself more and more acquainted with. Not, I'm not just doing this because of um, Malchus, because I'm part of his Hashem's Malchus. I'm doing this more and more because I want to do it. Very simple. I want to do it until you get to the highest sphere, which is the sphere of Kesser. But where I'm hooking in. Is at the bottom. Kabbalah's all Malchus Shemaim. Kabbalah's all Malchus Shemaim is called Shaloi Lishma. <laughs> Shaloi Lishma. Even though I'm willing to kill myself. But Hamdai Al Kiddush Hashem. Kabbalah's all Malchus Shemaim. What do you say when you when you die Al Kiddush Hashem? What's the what's the right pasuk? Shema. Shema. Because Shema is Kabbalah's all Malchus Shemaim. Shema Yisrael Hashem Belikedo Hashem Echad. The first thing you teach a kid to say, turn turns Tivolon Abaysha, 
at Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad Shalai Lashem Echad We teach you to be part of the Malchus That's Kabbalah's all Malchus Shema What's the goal? The goal, even within a tefillah itself Not to mention in life Is to climb up that ladder of the ten spheres Until you get to Keser, Keser equals Malchus Yes, Keser equals Ratzai Ratzai equals Keser equals Ratzai Ratzai equals the Neshama Poiseach es yodecho maspia l'cholchai Ratzai The Ratzai is allowed it, 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 you're giving us you're, you're, you're giving us a rut zone but we only see it as Malchus if we're lucky or you're Pyrek all Malchus Shemai Pyrek all so Pyrek all means that I'm not hooked up to this thing altogether that's really bad but but okay so like I say you're living like an animal but if I'm if I'm in line if I'm you're in the army now right so if you're in you're in line <coughs> so you're Makabal the Malchus that's a Bechina of Shalai Lishma that's a good thing because Shalai Lishma and you'll be able to get from Malchus you'll be able to get promoted to being the general and even being like the king, have the same Ratzin as the king. So that's that's um, what he's saying here. Just to get the the, uh, the words. Hainu. Shibakabolas Adam Ol Malchusa. When a person is Makabal the Ol of Malchus, meaning the lowest level, Yisparach Lahalois, what does that mean? Lahalois Kolmaisa Vitipura of Umach Shavaisa Batayra Mitzvah Madrega Yoyser Gavaya. I'm doing everything for the Melech. The whole Rosh Hashanah, Rabbi Say, is Kabbalah's Ol Malchus Shabbat. But the Makubalim tell us the Yom Kippur is already a Bechin of Kesser. Uh, um. So, Rabbi, the Tim Spheres are taking us to the top of Iran, so to speak. Yeah, also, that's the next paragraph. Meaning Naran goes, goes, works side by side with the Ten Spheres. You see the, the um, you see my book, The First Ten Days. So I, I show through the Aser Shemei Shuba how you get from Malchus to Kesser. Or from Kesser to Malchus, it's Mishap. So, so that's the whole the whole point of the book. But the, the idea is that Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur is ten days, and you're reaching up to the highest level. You're getting up to the highest level, which is Ritzayin, Ritzayin. So everybody understands this is the difference between the king has Ritzayin, the soldier has Malchus. Kabbalah's all Malchus Shemayim. So it says the Rechaim Velazhin. I'm not doing for myself, but there's a bit das where I'm doing for the Melech. But what happens here, what's important is from this Shaloy Lishma of Malchus comes a Ratzon. All of a sudden I'm wanting to do something. I have Ratzon, I have Bechira. Now I'm moving myself up to Kesser. So the, the idea here is to get to Kesser. That's that's the idea. As I said, this is the sequence of Shema, working your way up, you can see it by much clearly, all the way up to Yula Ratzai Nimrefi, all the way up to Ratza. Two ends of two 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 sides of the uh, of the pipe. Malchus Kesser. Why is it called Kesser Malchus? Because this is in the sphere of Malchus. Okay, we'll explain. Kesser Malchus, just learn a Pashat of Shat, is the Kesser of Malchus. I got into the Malchus, but I could reach in that Malchus all the way up. From Malchus, I can go all the way up to the Kesser, the king itself. See, let me, let me give an illustration of halacha, what, what this means, because it's important. Baruch Atah, you know, I love the Malchus of Shat. Amen. There's an Indian we've spoken many times about, Avera Lishma. What's an Avera Lishma? Avera, we know what an Avera is. An Avera is what you're not allowed to do, a mitzvah is what you're supposed to do, but it's in the Bechina of Kabbalah's O Malchus Shemayim. Once you do Kabbalah's O Malchus Shemayim, you do Kabbalah's O Mitzvah. So I have to say Shemayim Lekev. As I take in Shulchan Aruch. Let's say I'm violating my Malchus. You, you look at it like this. Um, I'm, I'm standing in line, I'm standing in attention, and I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. I'm holding my gun straight, I'm standing with perfect posture, and I'm not allowed to move, I'm not even allowed to blink. And then I see um, somebody's going to kill the melech. You know, somebody jumps out in the um, 
baseball uh, <laughs> field. He's asking for a selfie. Huh? He's just asking for a selfie. <laughs> yeah. So he jumps out of formation, and he saves the he saves the king, right? Um, so he didn't have error. You're not supposed to get out of line. What are you doing? Why are you moving out of line? I know, but I'm doing. All of a sudden, I'm using my seichel. And I'm saying, why am I standing in line? Why am I doing part of this balchus all for the rutzit of the belach? So now the rutzit of the belach is delivered to die. Of course, I'm going to jump out of formation and I'm going to save him. Avera lishma. So avera lishma is shaykh by someone who can, first of all, know the rutzit of Hashem and know <coughs> that you can jump out of the malchus all the way up to Kesser. That's what avera lishma is. You need He's doing the king's rutzen. He's making a choice. His rutzen and the king's rutzen are the same. This is what I'm, this is exactly what I'm trying to bring out. By, by, now I'm, I'm right, but I've engaged my seichel. So and so, where where malchus, hear me hear me out clear. Where malchus is a bittel ritzaynoi, um, keser is a se ritzaynoi. Doing rutzen, you're engaging your rutzen. Two different, two opposite uh, mitos. So I'm jumping out of line. That's how very lishma. So um, Esther Hamalka says, "I want the base Yaakov. I can't live with Achashverosh." Well, not even ani lo mesugalat, ani lo mesugalat. But um, Mordechai tells her that no. Uh, um, everything has a time, and if you didn't do this, if you don't do this, why did you come to Malchus? Malchus. <laughs> the whole reason you came to Malchus is to break the Malchus and to do the Ratz and Hashem. Malchus, uh, if you're even just a little bit Hasidish, you know that uh, the Melech of, of, uh, of the Megillah is Malchus Shalom, it's Ruan Shalom. Ha Melech. So um, that's an Averi Lishma. What she's saying is, I'll jump out of formation. I'm leaving behind everything I learned in Beis Yaakov. And I'm jumping up to do the Ratz and Hashem, which is to save the Jewish people, which is an Averi. You know, just to point out here that the Vilna Gon tells us that um, no such Metzias anymore. Because we're not any longer involved in what the rutzen of Hashem is and what not the rutzen of Hashem is, you have to be a you have to be a soldier. So there's no such thing as an avera lishma. Once the Torah was given, Yaakov Avinu could marry two sisters, even though he knew it was wrong, because that's how he's going to make twelve shvatim. That's how he's going to make Mashiach ben David. That's how he's going to make Mashiach ben Yosef. Uh, Yaakov Avinu could do that. Avraham Yitzchak they can do that. Yeah, Avraham Avinu could even eat baser b'cholov. You know or serve us or Bechala because um, that's before mountain terror. Once the terror was given, so now we're just supposed to do what we're told. And there's no very Lushma any longer. I, Esther, the girl asked the contract, what about Esther? So that's all this cloud you shall shine. That's all this cloud you shall shine. So, so um, to say Klai Yisrael, you're allowed to do Aver Lishma. So the going says a halacha, it's a milsa, it's mia, that's the truth, that the only place where Aver Lishma is if you're saving Klai Yisrael. But Avera Lishma is a concept. In any case, it's Gadol Avera Lishma Mi Mitzvah Shalai Lishma. Because Avera Lishma is, uh, we just think about this for a second, how, 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 how meduyak it is, that Avera Lishma, you're doing the Ratzon Hashem. And a Mitzvah Shalai Lishma, you're a soldier. Shalai Lishma Ba Lishma. So Gadol Avera Lishma, Gadol Avera Lishma Mi Mitzvah Shalai Lishma. You're standing there like a soldier, that's beautiful. Mitzvah shalei lishma, shalei lishma, ba lishma. But the whole point is to get to lishma, and sometimes lishma and come to, needs needs an aver. So, let me just uh, you know while I'm here, let me just uh, point out an interesting thing. Famous conversation between Chizkiyahu Hamelach and Yeshayahu Anavi. Famous, right? Baruch Hashem. The Gemara says famous conversation that uh, Chizkiyahu became very ill, and Yeshayahu Anavi, contemporary of Chizkiyahu came to be Mavakar Chaylam, Chizkiyahu, and um, tells him, Meis Baal Tichya, you are going to die. Meis Baal Tichya Lo Elam Haba. 
covenant of Malchus. <laughs> and so Yeshayo tells the Melech, I have a nevuah that you're not going to make it through this illness and you've forfeited your place in the world to come. Why? Because you remained a single and decided to never get married. Hiskiel was single. Decided not to get married. So Hiskiel breathes a sigh of relief, the Gemara says. He says, that's your problem. <laughs> I have a reason why I remain single. And that's because I saw the Chazisi Baruch Kodshi. I saw it with Ruach HaKodesh. No, no small thing. Not, not Nevoah, but Ruach HaKodesh. I saw Baruch HaKodesh tells you who Chizkiyahu was. He was supposed to be the Mashiach, right? I saw Baruch HaKodesh that I'm going to have a Menashe as a son. And if I'm going to have Menashe as a son, he's going to go and destroy Kla Yisrael. So that's why I remain single. It's a classic case of Aver Lishma. Emes? I'm willing to not be Mekayim the Mitzvah of Puravu in order to save Kla Yisrael. Classic case. He's the same as Esther. Classic case. That's all is Kla Yisrael. Yael, Esther, Chizkiel. Shlomo Amal says, no, no. Meisvel Tichia. You're wrong. What do you getting involved with 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 uh, the future and who your children are going to be and you're going to have a son who's going to become the Melech and he's going to become a Russia. Forget your Ruach HaKodesh. Hashem said to get married, you get married. Hashem said to have children, you have children. And you, you have no right to um, to make that kind of decision. Why doesn't he have a right? It's a classic case of Aver Lishma. Anybody here would make a different decision? It's a classic case of a very I know there's a mitzvah to get married, but it's a little bit different because I'm going to have a son that's going to kill thousands of people. It is true. It's not a part of it. It's a lot of in this case. The master was saving lives. What's ruchnius? Menashe physically killed people. No, but it's not a mitzvah. It's a part of it. It's a part of Yeah. But it's not a part of it. But it's not a part of it. But it's not a part of Three issues. <laughs> Three but tiny issues. It's, it's, it's what? It's not a mitzvah in front of it. It's not a mitzvah in front of it. I think Paskin is something that's, who knows what's going to be, you know, who knows what. Okay. That's a nevoa that. Mine, yeah, no. We yeah, understand it was very nice. It's correct. Yeah. So Let me say it a little differently, yeah? And so in Ruch HaKodesh, even in the level of nevoa, it's not more that that's going to happen if it's negative. Which is similar to what? Yeah. Which we'll say. Or the pshat is, which is the same thing, but um, you had a ruch kodesh that somebody's going to be a Russia and kill people. You're saying that that, that Menashe has no bechir chavshes. You're saying he can't do tshuva. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a nevuah that you're going to have a Russia. That's why it's not a nevuah. It was ruch kodesh. You can't have a nevuah that somebody's going to be a Russia. Otherwise, you're doyel me menu dal tshuva. Now, the fact is, so what does Chizkiyot says? Okay, I have a proposition. Um, I'll marry your daughter. Shayo has to stick with his words. <laughs> You're not allowed to have such a, 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 such a Nebuah as Batal. Such a Nebuah as Batal. So he gives him his daughter. As exactly as Chizkiyot predicted, Menashe is a Russia. And Menashe kills his grandfather, Yeshayo. Murder. Assassinate, assassinates his grandfather because he was too from. So Chizkiyo was right, but nevertheless, it's a little cheshbon because um, it doesn't make a difference if you're right, you're wrong. You can't, you can't have a nevua that somebody else is going to be a Russia, going to be a Russia. Like Shmuel says, it's not a Matthias Lefanecha. Like Yitzhak says, it's, 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 um, it's negative. Or like I say, it's all the same thing, that you can't have a Nevoa that, that doesn't include a possibility of Shuvah. In reality, Menashe did Shuvah. Menashe was a little bit too late. Yishayo was dead, so was everybody else. But OK, did Shuvah. Did Shuvah. Kavosh Baruch, like Mars has that place else, that Menashe did Shuvah. And uh, the Malachim didn't even want to be Makabalist Shuvah. What kind of Shuvah is this? You killed people. You did, after the harbor, you made you want to do Shuvah. But Kavosh Baruch opened up a uh, a hole under the Kisei HaKavoyed, and he says, I'll take it indirectly. Okay, so we who learn Nefesh HaChaim understand even what that means, because um, the Kisei HaKavoyed is in the world of Bria, 
And what he said is the tshuva, God will tshuva shemagas ad kisei akom. <laughs> that uh, Kodesh Baruch Hu could say, okay, your tshuva in the world of Asiya is really meaningless because you can't be Mechayim Mason. Your tshuva in the world of Yitzira is meaningless. I'll take it in Bria. I'll take you in on Bria. Meet me in room three, <laughs> and I'll and I'll and I'll I'll take in your uh, your your chupa. Oh, oh, so. Interesting. So, but it, it just uh, 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 I just want to touch up the conversation here. That Chizkia was thinking of Lushma, his thinking was good. Yeshayahu, whose thinking was better, corrected him and said that this is a misapplication of Avery Lushma. But what's really not certainly in your name, but what's really going on here? What's really going on here is Chizkiyo has to sit and think to himself, is it really the Ratzin Hashem for me to do to get married now? Listen, you know, there's another thing, by the way. And, and, if, and if the Ruach HaKodesh and the Nebua say that I'm going to have children that are, that are going to destroy Kla Yisrael, is it going to help not to get married? <laughs> Somehow or another, that's what's going to happen. Like, you know, if, that's, if it's true, that's what's going to happen anyway. Like, you know, you know somebody will... Uh, it'll, Somebody will, will uh, force force um, force themselves on you or something like if that if it's if you're believing in the in the nevu and the ruach hakodesh so what is the, anyways the logic is is wrong so if he, uh, Hashem runs the world but let, let's bonagid that Chizkiyahu's cheshbon was that I, I'm not going to do the mitzvah of Hashem I'm going to do the rotsin of Hashem I'm not going to be makabel o malchus because o malchus shemayim limits me in what I can or can't do. I'm a melech. I can't limit myself that way. So, and, and a melech a lot of times doesn't limit himself to Kabbalah's all malchus shemayim of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'm going to do the rutz in Hashem, the rutz in Hashem, I shouldn't get married. And on this, Yeshayo didn't argue. On the concept of me able to do it in the market, you just said your, your logic is not good. Your logic is not good because there's tshuva, it's not lefanach, all the reasons that we said. It might not be anyway, but the, 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 the logic is not good, but the principle is a good one. So it's a stop, good shot in Chizkiyo and Yeshayo. So what, what we have here is, is Malchus, Shaloy Lishma, Malchus standing in line, inside of a limit, inside of a gedder, getting out of the gedder, all the climbing up the spheres to the place of Ratzon. So let me, yeah. It's funny, if I'm, if I'm not sure, right? Yeah, was blessing him. He saw that one was going to be. Well, from him, so, so, so what happens there? I mean, there. I'm, not, I'm not understanding. By Prime Minister, he's even the Prophet. He switches hands because he saw that somebody would come out that, you know, from. Uh, from uh, How many seasons would come out bad if the person could become good? Like, what's the. It, like, you saw that somebody. Well, Yosef's Kasha. Yeah, so I'm saying. You're, you're asking Yosef's Kasha. Yeah. I'm saying, so here we do see that, that you, if the person could something bad, come out, maybe. Yes. Right, so the answer is that a Bracha <coughs> is not a violation of the mitzvah or. One way or the other, it's a bracha. I see a problem. You need a bracha. There is a difference between doing a ma'isa, getting out of formation, and a bracha. See, let me let me just. This is what came to mind. I think this is all clear. Pirkevus, Rabbi Gamliel says, let's 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 touch up this mission once and for all because it's like a it's like a uh, tongue twister. Who ha yaimer? That's Rabbi Gamliel. Anybody ever stop to work that out? Uh, let's, let's just spend two minutes on it. Make his Ratzain, Hashem's Ratzain, into your Ratzain. You want to do something. So, I say Ritzoinai, make Hashem's Ratzain your Ratzain. Today, Sheyase Ritzoinach, so that your Ratzain will be Kirtzonah. You see it? Malchus, Kesef. <coughs> see it? Good. Sure. Let's we'll speak it out. Why? The first one is Malchus, is Bintel. What, what is it that I need to choose? Okay, Hashem is brought. Tell me what you want. I'll do that? Okay, I'll do that like a robot. Okay, I say Ritzainai, here, here Ritzain Pach. As if that's what I want. Bittel, I wrote it. You're holding it. And what's the ultimate goal? Today, she asked the Ritzainach so that ultimately your Ratzain will be his Ratzain. When there's also Kir Ritzainai. The first one. 
second one. Second one also. Have to no, so is there, that means that Hashem is Meshabed, his Ratzon. Like, just like we, we don't want to do it, but with, with skirts on it. No, no, that's what the next part of the Mishnah means. We're not there yet. You're jumping. What, over here, it simply means Shaloi Lishma Do, meaning, let's put it practical level. Like, um, do stuff for Hashem with the same enthusiasm that you would do stuff for yourself. Right? When you, if, you, if, you, if you're living in Tzfas and you're going to be Ola Rego, so, like, tell the kids we're going on vacation. <laughs> let them get excited. Let them get up early in the morning. Let's, let's, let's have fun. You know, we're going... You know, if, you, if you're going to Shachos in the morning, do it as if you're going to a great business deal or you're going to a ball game or something like that. Just do it with fun. That's the, like, do, do a say Ritzoynoi, when you're doing Hashem's will, do it as if it's your Ratzon, as if you really want to do it. Maybe you don't want to do it, but it's a bit of Ratzon to his Ratzon. And what will happen with this? The, the goal will be, ultimately, you'll go from Malchus to Keser, and ultimately, what will happen is Kesser equals Malchus equals uh, Kesser equals Ratzin equals Neshama. So ultimately, Kadesh Yasser it's Sainach. Ultimately, your Ratzin itself will be Kirit Sainach. You'll say, what do you want to do? Oh, yeah, I really want to put on Tefillin today. So you start with the Shaloi Lushma. Let, let's take a, a, a real example. Like <coughs> you're giving tzedakah to somebody. Do you really want to give tzedakah to somebody? Why would I want to part with my money? But do it like you want to do it. You not make pretend, but I'm a soldier. So I'm a soldier. You know, once I'm a soldier, I'm doing it. That's all. So I'm just doing it. Like, you know, uh, people say this to me all the time. Like, uh, take my share and just take it. You know, I'm just doing it. That's all. I'm not, uh, it's not my money. I'm just doing it. Uh, what does that mean? They, they really want to give away their money to somebody else? Okay, no look. Depends on the madrig. But it's okay. Even if you don't want to do it, I'm just doing it. I'm a soldier. I'm doing it. I'm standing in line. I'm giving away $1,000 to Sadaka today. Very nice. But what's going to happen if you do that? Ultimately, you will come to want to help people. You'll be the head of the foundation. Ultimately, you will get no bigger geschmack in life than doing the rutz and Hashem of giving the tzedakah. So this is Rebbe Gamliel, and there's a lot to say about why Rebbe Gamliel said this, but that's for a Shabbos afternoon sometime, that Asei Ritzaynei Kirtzaynei Kadeshi Asei Ritzaynei Kirtzaynei And then he goes further, as Rebbe Gamliel, Uvatel Ritzaynei Mipnei Ritzaynei If you have a ratzon, and Hashem has a rot sign. Bittel. Time for Bittel. Kabbalah's all. Malchus Shemai. Bittel. So if I'm, uh, I, I have two, I really don't want to do this. It's not that, okay, I'm resigned to it, I'm a soldier. I don't want to do it. So, be bevatel. Bevatel your rot sign. Bevatel return to of course. Me pnei ritzaynei. Why? What, what's the uftu? Kedei she yevatel ritzayna cheirim me pnei ritzaynach. Boy, this is complicated, right? What's going to happen now? You accomplish a new, a new thing over here. The first case, the ratio of the Mishnah is talking about ultimately your Ratzin will become his Ratzin. Start with Malchus, get to Kassar. And now he's saying, but if I do this, there's another thing, says Erem Gamliel, I do the Bittel HaRatzin. <coughs> if I do the Bittel HaRatzin, what's going to happen is I start off with Malchus and now I'm climbing up to Kassar, which we just learned to the, in the, in the... So now what's going to happen is that once I'm the Melech, once I'm the Kesser, once I'm wearing the throne or I'm sharing the throne with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so now everybody in the world is going to be Mavato, they're Ratzin to me, just like everybody in the world has to be Mavato, they're Ratzin to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So if a person is a Tzaddik and he's Mavato, his Ratzin, Rebbe Gamil says, such important information, the person is Mavato, my own personal Ratzin, to do Hashem's Ratzin, so then what's going to happen is that people will follow suit because they have to follow suit, says the Rabbi Gamil, By the way, I just was looking here this morning, the Rabbi Nebuchadne says, who's this Acherim? Yivato Acherim, as we're saying, who is the Acherim? Says the, uh, the Rabbi Nebuchadne. Who ha koicho is hell yoinim? Kegoin ha koichovim, ha mazolais, malochim ha mashorsim, kulam nikrim Acherim. Meaning, meaning, you can defy all of nature by defying your nature and putting yourself from Malchus into Kesser. Now I have the power of Kesser. See, I'm coming with the, the, the Shaliach of the Melech as the authority of the Melech and gets the same covenant as the Melech. And now everybody has to do your Ratzin because you're Mabatl yourself to the Melech. I'm the Melech. Eliezer Avon Avram. 
Yes, but even better. Eliezer Eved Avram is Eved Avram Anoichi. Give me Kavu. <laughs> you have to give me the covet of Avram Avinu because I'm the Eved Avram. I'm a vatel myself to Avram. And sure enough, he got the Kesser. He, he, he got the Kesser of Avram and, and everybody. You see, I, ju- I just like, um, I, I, I once explained, I, I once uh, uh, complained, I should say, to um, to my rabbis, that's all that, uh, you know, that, you know, a lot of things are, uh, mitzvahs are easier, a lot of mitzvahs are harder. Uh, fundraising is very difficult for me. You know, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, ask people for money and changes the relationship and it's kind of an awkward thing. Like, I don't like it. So, he, so he told me, like, look, uh, you know, the, the fundraising is easy for only one kind of person, a mashugana. <laughs> But Elamai, you have to make a decision. Is your Avas Hashem bigger? Is your Avas Atzmai bigger? Mm. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> simple, simple question. You know, okay, like, hey, yeah, it's awkward. It's, uh, you know, uh, is it easy to dial Kiddush Hashem? Well, you have to make a decision. Is my Avas Hashem bigger? Is my Avas Atzmai bigger? Like, what, it's a very simple decision. Okay, it's, it's simple. You know, <laughs> it's a Moshe Milsa Zutrasi. Like it was, a, but it, it, the, the Taich is Emes. The Taich is Emma. So the shot is that I take, but what, you know. But here's here's the chat that if you're mavato, you're rotsain to the rotsain Hashem, and I'm going to do it even though I don't want to do it. I don't want to ask that person for money in, in this example. So you know what happens? Interesting. All the stars and all the angels and all the gevirim, they all step aside. Okay, how can I do your rotsain? Because it's the rotsain Hashem. So if a person comes in, mamish l'shem shemayim, you have certain siyata d'shemayim. That that Babish this Mishnah. This is like a Mishnah for fundraisers. Uh-huh. They don't want to give. You don't want to ask. You're asking even though you don't want to. This is the this is the way the conversation goes, whether it's silent or whether it's articulated. Um, I really don't want to ask you for money. Well, I really don't want to give you money. <laughs> okay. So now let's do it anyway. <laughs> let's, let's, let's make it quick. Exactly right. I'll be Mavato my Ratzai for Hashem's Ratzai, and you'll be Mavato your Ratzai to my Ratzai. If we had up and bring we're all going to Olam Haba. <laughs> yeah, fair, no? So like, this is like the, 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 the Mishnah, the, the Course 101 for every um, everybody who's, who's having to raise money. Yeah, if the second part of the Mishnah is Bittal, so that would seem to be the Malchus part, whereas over here, same as Sancho, that sounds like Kesser, not like Nahon, because because the Bittel is going all the way up, but Kedesh Yivat, the Bittel is going all the way up to Ratzon, that he already said. No, but the first part, when he's, uh, why is the first part Bittel? It sounds like it's, if the bit if the Bittel is mentioned only <coughs> later, the first part sounds like it's not Bittel. So that sounds more dumb into Kesser. Asay Ritzaynay Kertzaynach, that's a goal. I say Ritzaynay Kitsaynach Kadesh Yasa Ritzaynach Kitsarna. In other words, you, like the, in, uh, the way I'm understanding is the introduction to the mission. It's, it's the whole thing. It's it's the introduction is here's the goal. You want to get your Ratzon um, uh, calibrated with the Ratzon Hashem. And then it starts off, he tells us, with Bittul HaRatzayn, and it works itself all the way up to Ratzon Hashem, and then Ratzon Acherim, our Bittul. Okay, so just say, I'll say, Perk Beis, Mishnah Dalad, I went to Mishnah and Perk Yavos, this is Mamish, the Lushan of the Nefesh Achaim here, is that a, pe- a person should be Makabal Ol Malchus Shamayim. I'll just read the left thing again before we close up. A person should be Makabal Hainushib, a Kabbalah Sa'adam Ol Malchus Ayyusbarach. Lahalais kol ma'isa v'dibura v'machshavaisa b'toyra mitzvus. By the way, Malchus, the Chazal say leislei mirgar meklum. Malchus says I'm not getting anything in, out of it. I'm, it's not my rotsin, but I'm being mavatol my rotsin to the rotsin of Hashem. Lahalais kol ma'isa v'dibura v'machshavaisa b'toyra mitzvus l'madrega yoyser gavayis to shine good. And mize nasalai rotsin pnimi l'shabid moichay v'dibura yomaisa b'toyra mitzvus. You know the one. Pasuk and Ashrei, if you don't have Kavana for you, have to say it again and again and again. It's Poseach Yisyadech, O Masbiel Chochai Ratzayim. Say it again and again and again, and we still don't know what it means. It's Poseach Yisyadech, Hashem, open up your hands. U Masbiel, and satiate. L'chol Chai Ratzayim. Let everybody reach your Ratzayim. Make the make the Ratzayim Hashem, the, you know, bring it, bring that Neshama of Ratzayim Hashem, bring it all the way into this world, 
right? And that's why every time we, we you know, Yehi Ratzon Nofanecha, right? Rosh Hashanah, you know, we we're saying Yehi Ratzon, we're making all the Yehi Ratzons, Yehi Ratzon, Yehi Ratzon, Yehi Ratzon, Yehi Ratzon Nofanecha, Tarbos Chuyosenu Karimayim, Yehi Ratzon Nofanecha, we're blessing our children. We're saying that we want to get this all, we want the bracha to our children to be Ratzon. The, the rotzen is a noun. We want the rotzen to come all the way from up on top. Yehi rotzen milfanecha. Let my bracha here be an articulation of your rotzen there. And what you're doing, it says nefesh achayim, is you're hooking up all the pipes together, and you've got a beautiful flow of ruach elikim and ba'ipach ma'ap of nishma elikim. The neshama comes all the way into the bria, and then from here on Sunday, Mir Hashem, we get into the naran again and how that works. And let your rutsang come down the pipe to us. Let, 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 let's meet at the place of rutsang. Let it be your rutsang that this child has a brother.